At least 34 million Americans watch Netflix's Tiger King its first 10 days on the air. Joe Exotic, the star, was probably not one of them as he's doing 22 years in prison for his role in an attempted murder for hire plot. Now the president is being asked if he might consider a pardon. A presidential pardon for the Tiger King? <laughs> Americans in quarantine have been fascinated by Netflix's smash hit, The Tiger King, a docuseries about the bizarre story behind Tiger Keeper Joe Exotic and his feud with animal rights activist Carol Baskin. You're an animal rights person and you try and come into this facility, this is what you're going to be greeted with. Joe Exotic is currently serving 22 years in prison for trying to hire a hitman to kill Baskin. I always assumed that he was going to try and kill me. Now a new twist. Are you recommending a pardon? At his nightly briefing on the coronavirus pandemic, President Trump was asked if he'd consider a pardon for the Tiger King. I was wondering if you've seen the show and if you have any thoughts on uh, pardoning. Uh, is that Joe Exotic? That's Joe Exotic? I'll take a look. Inside Edition has been investigating the controversial Tiger King since 2010 after 23 tiger cubs that he kept at this controversial roadside zoo in Oklahoma died. You've had 23 of your tigers die. Do you think that you're a responsible owner of tigers? I damn sure do. We also investigated Joe Exotic's shopping mall exhibits, like this one, where, for a fee, the public got to interact with his tiger cubs. When we interviewed him in 2011, it was clear he was already obsessed with Baskin. Did somebody fund your story for you? Like Carol Baskin in Florida? Did she make a donation to your TV station no, or buy some ads? Nope. The Tiger King has clearly captivated America, even it seems, the president. Is that Joe Exotic? That's Joe Exotic.